We're going to Top Shelf. I'm Adam. I'm Ashley. And today we have... The Polk N1 Surround Bar. It's a massive unit. <laughs> it's huge, Look man. Look at the size of it. Yeah. If, you, uh, if you ever get caught in a zombie apocalypse, grab yeah, one of these this buggers. This is a bloody rapid list thing. <laughs> it's got to be easy five kilos or just a touch under. Yep. It is a metre long and it's about 10 by 10 wide. Um, I had to get a special entertainment unit just to fit this in. Um, but look, overall... It, it Look, it's a good-looking unit. Um, yeah. They do come in a, a, a couple of other colours as well, but the yeah. black's probably the best that you can then, for me, anyway. I think it's just sleek. It matches the Xbox One. And it makes it look a little slimmer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Settle. Shh, it doesn't have a you. huge amount of, like... Like options on the back of it, does it, Ash? It's, it's no. sort of got like an optical audio. Yep. It's um, got an RCA jack in yep. and plus your 3.5 headphone jack. Yeah. It is made for the Xbox One. So it suits the fiber optic cable. And the reason it's for the Xbox One is that it's graphic equalizer levels. It's called Halo or it's called Forza. Yeah, so it's got some little presets there, doesn't it? It does indeed. And look, they, they are good. I was actually quite impressed playing either Halo or Forza. Um, but you know, any yeah. game, you, you can press the buttons and you do notice that dis difference. Yeah, if you've got a first person shooter, whack it on the Halo, Halo one. If you've got some form of racing game, whack it on Forza. And it does sort of bring out those sort of engine noises and, and that sort it of does. stuff. It does, it just picks the levels at the right spot. It does also have one for movies and yep. one for music as well. And, and again, they work really well. Yeah, and I mean, the base in the unit isn't too bad, Ash, for it's the sort not... of, without coming with a subwoofer. It does have yeah, a yeah. plug for one, but, yeah. you know, just out of the unit itself, the base as, is as it not is, too bad. It's, it's basic enough, and you can adjust the base level itself, um, but you, you can buy a subwoofer and just plug it in if you want to knock the house down. Yeah, uh, it is loud. It oh, it's is, loud. It's it is loud. Very, very loud. You oh, can I certainly don't... shake your connect yeah. off your off your TV and and have some fun. That's it. I haven't even had it up beyond halfway, yeah. and it's loud. And I think with the surround, it's not five point one surround sound. Yeah, it just surrounds the bloody house full of music. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's the, not the like you could everywhere. theoretically hear the helicopter go from one side to the other no. or people sneaking up on you. I mean, yep. you definitely, you still need a headset if you're trying to do that for sort me, of For me, I still game. I still turn to my Turtle Beach X41s yep. for that real surround sound. I mean, it's simulated, yes, but when you can hear someone sneaking up in the bushes behind mm. you, that's surround sound. This, it just surrounds the room. With yeah, music. yeah. I mean, and it's good quality sound. It's um, good sound. It, it does Crisp. sound pretty good. Uh, and uh, I mean, it doesn't have a huge amount of options on the front either, does it, Ash? It's just no, got a few that's buttons right. there. I mean, it's, it's basically your on off, your volume control, bass level, and uh, being able to change the, the equalizers, mm. um, you know, with your Forza and your, your Halo. Yeah. It does have Bluetooth capability, which is pretty good, but limited. I did test this, and basically, whether you know, whether you're using your phone or an iPod, about five meters, you want to keep your device in. If you go outside of that, yep you do start to drop. Uh, and, it, and I mean, yeah. I guess that's reasonable. You sort of keep your device near it if you're going yeah, to be playing music anyway. For me, the benefit is just having less cables in the house, yep. uh, which is a bit of an advantage. But if you're out the back and you're using this as a, a sound system for your entertaining and with a barbecue, you know, you can't chop and change your music. Yeah, you yeah, walk that's in the true. House anyway. That can be a bit frustrating. Yeah. Um, it does do a little bit of a light show on the buttons and that sort of it stuff. It does, yeah. The light show's pretty fancy. I mean, it tells you what volume you're up to. It does a little bit of a dance when you change the options of it there as well. Um, but essentially, it's, it's a no-frills unit. Sound quality is excellent. It's a big, solid, well-made unit. Yeah. Polk have always made good quality stuff. Yeah. And this is a good example from them. Yeah, look, uh, I, I like the sound from it. I, I Personally, I wouldn't have minded it slightly smaller. Yeah. Um, uh, but the quality, you really can feel. Look at the quality. It's got the nice lines on the front of it. It just it just feels good and solid when you pick it up. That's it. Price point, it is it is on the pricier side. Yeah, look, depending if you shop around or buy from a local retailer, when these came out, they were 500. Yep. They have dropped down to about 450. Yep. yep. To shop on the internet, down to 300. Yeah. They're at 300, recommended. Because when you shop around retail, 300, I mean, the, 
Sounds not bad, but the, it, more of a tinny product, I think, whereas this one's just a solid unit. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I mean, you can get other soundbars out there that come with a sub uh, for, for a similar price point and sometimes under that, around that 350 yeah. 250 mark. Um, but if you can get this one for $300, it's a, it's a good job. It, it does the job. It's it certainly got some nice sounds, and those little presets yeah. are excellent for gaming. And I think, too, if you're an Xbox One fan... This was made for the Xbox One, so it's a nice little addition for the uh, little Xbox collection. That's it. Hope you liked the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you later.